Somewhere in another reality, we are lesbians. Hello and welcome back to the Matrixers finally another video from us and this time with a pretty exciting topic. One that, if you apply that, you might get rich. Yes, we received a lot of letters from people who said yes, now here in the crisis, and so forth, how do you get money now? Are there ways to use one's abilities, one's inner abilities like clairvoyance or something like that, to maybe even win the lottery? This is what it looks like. Our topic for today. That is our topic for today. Exactly. And then we thought yes, of course, there are people who say spirituality and wealth don't go together. But those are just beliefs. Yes, the dear topic of money. Anyway, correct. Because the fact that spirituality and money don't go together comes mainly from the Buddhist area. With all the beggar monks etc. just saying they don't want to amass any money or wealth or materialism and are living in utter poverty, I find it very remarkable that they are doing that. But that doesn't automatically mean that someone can't come to enlightenment or self-knowledge when they have money. And above all, it also comes from the neo-esoteric realm, from all of light and love. Yes, we must be poor and humble and don't know what. And only then live without money and poor on the street, then. No. No, no. So the higher self doesn't rate it that way. Whether you're a multi-millionaire or a beggar, if self-knowledge or enlightenment is to come, it will come no matter how much money you have in the bank. Besides, you can do a lot of good with money. And what speaks against having a nice life and helping other people? Yes it is. And for that reason, before we go into endless sentences here, let's get started and teach you 10 techniques now. Exactly, we experienced some of them ourselves and got the lottery numbers, but it wasn't important enough for us, otherwise we might have done it already. But maybe it is important to one or the other or you urgently need money. No idea. Anyway, here are our top 10. Top 10 how to make money with inner skills, with mediumistic skills. Yes, and that possibility exists because every reality exists. You exist in an alternate reality where you are poor, in one where you are more middle class. In one you are rich. Therefore, all realities exist without judgment from the higher self and you choose which reality you live in. This is what it looks so shall we start with number one? Yes. I got the numbers on that too. And with our darling. Hypnagogic state. Yes. So number one. Hypnagogic states. This is what it looks like. What is a hypnagogic state? Hypnagogic state? Yes. Anyway. No. So about hypnagogic states. Yes. You. Practically go into the low alpha or high theta range with your brain wave frequency. If you manage to stay awake and conscious, even in the deep theta area, the area where the monks meditate, get into the subconscious and get information. Practical. That's how you can see it. I have made it my task to use hypnagogic states in such a way that I can ask any question and also get answers from the off, from myself, from helpers who are on the road. Well, of course you also have to be careful. From whom do you get the information? You have to listen to your heart and look at it. You can trust the voice or not. And yes, if you just go to bed and relax, you will notice how it keeps clicking in your head and how the frequency response is switched down. So to speak practically, and if at some point you are deep enough and you are between sleep and wakefulness, then you are in exactly the right frequency range to get exactly this information. 
lottery numbers for example not too long ago like two weeks ago or so i tested that and then i asked what are the lottery numbers for six out of 49 on wednesday so it's important to ask very specific questions never ask imprecise questions like yes what are the numbers for the lottery that won't do you any good you will get any numbers but ask a very precise question which lottery when at what time then you ask and then you get the answers maybe from your inner self maybe from your spirit guide you will hear someone's voice it doesn't come from your head either but actually from outside at least that's how it is for whether that's generally the case now i can't tell you dear viewer but yes yes as shiva says it must be made very clear when and which day the lottery draw is and of course you have to include that in your question in the hypnagogic state maybe some are now wondering how do you achieve hypnagogic states this is not so hard you just lie down and relax it's just difficult to stay conscious and not fall asleep there are of course various methods of achieving this for example jonathan you have a method with your legs apart and if they somehow unfold then you automatically startle yourself again wake up a little bit and start again we've practiced it to the point that we can stay in the hypnagogic state for hours without waking up okay sometimes we fall asleep too it's important not to be too tired but you should be a bit tired yes and another problem as well as remembering those seven numbers yes exactly so i think that's the first problem you're going to run into because maybe you should practice that maybe with a friend or something that he writes down seven numbers that you tell him and then say an hour later you repeat these numbers to him exactly because when you're not in the hypnagogic state it's not that easy to save seven numbers into waking consciousness this is what because you definitely want six correct ones with an additional number if you forget the additional number it would also be appropriate then you will also get a little money that's a good thing to live with and yes hypnagogic states are a method you can actually use to get lottery numbers exactly like that for technique number two exactly ah uh, with the pendulum yes with the pendulum exactly for example hmm you draw a template with all 49 numbers or you make individual cards write the numbers on them and commute each individual number whether yes or no exactly is a bit more complex with 49 numbers depending on the lottery there are also some who have 70 numbers it takes a while however if you want it you want to handle it that way so go through all 49 cards with the pendulum it is best to put the cards aside that have been marked with yes and finally commute the additional number exactly so that would be our tip with the pendulum we have also tested another option number three but not to the full because it was simply too much work for us with so many numbers namely the heart field reaction everyone has a heart and therefore a heart chakra one heart and yes one asks the questions yes how exactly do we do that for example jonathan asks give the numbers she tells me and then i look does my heart open or does it close and then there are the numbers of course it has to be determined beforehand which lottery when how where and so on which day which drawing and an end and of course remember there's that old joke about the man who went to church for 20 years and prayed to god please send me the lottery numbers and after 20 years god gets in touch and says you idiot you have to fill out a form not just pray so 
so fill out the slip. Don't forget the heart field reaction exercise. You can do this alone or in pairs. Of course you can also go through the numbers in your head alone or in pairs. It doesn't matter. Yes, just important that you listen to yourself. Your body always reacts. Your inner self knows everything. Is connected to everything. Hence, this is a fairly simple, effective and quick method. If you train them well, that's the way it is. Folks, next technique, number four. The number four people. You can also work with your imagination. That is, you lie down in bed, relaxed, close your eyes and imagine in your imagination that you are looking at a screen, for example. And then you see number after number appearing on this screen. Start with the one and then see if this one is somehow really nice, clear and distinct or if it's more of a blur. And then, of course, remember all the numbers once you've gone through all 49. Which numbers were the easiest to imagine? Which were the clearest and most obvious? And then make a note of it. And when you're done with the six numbers, start over again for the extra number. Quick method. Simple quick method. Imagination method. Exactly. Who is good at visualizing? Well, you can see how you deal with it. But we have a few other methods. Number five. How does number five work? Yes. Also a nice thing to program the dream. Yes, it has worked before, but taking over the numbers in the waking state is very difficult. Yes. So that means every night when you get into bed, you close your eyes and say to your higher self or to a spirit guide. Tonight I dream of the lottery numbers that are drawn on Saturday at 10 p.m. With a date, for example. And keep telling you that and you'll suddenly at some point remember a dream where you actually came across the lottery numbers. They can stick to the door. They can lie on the table as notes, or numbers appear at certain positions within the dream. So there are no limits to creativity. And that is also a method of getting the numbers through dreams, because the subconscious knows everything. Yes, the subconscious knows about the future and the past. And in that respect, you can then count on it, you can program your dreams and then look for the numbers in the dream. Smack Number 6 for those who can lucid dream. Technique number 5 is of course also very good because you can look for it in the lucid dream. And those of you who deal with out-of-body experience can also use out-of-body experience. Namely, you then detach yourself from your physical body and travel quite simply, in quotation marks simply, into the future to the exact date when the lottery number drawing takes place. Sit there on the couch or in the armchair and imagine yourself sitting there and looking at the lottery numbers. It is important to note that on the day the lottery numbers are drawn, you have to be physically in front of the television or the internet or somewhere else to look at the numbers. The draw, that's important, of course, because that's how you prepare the future, which already exists. You have to make it very clear that next Saturday, physically, sitting in front of the TV or screen and watching the lottery draw, and the few days before that, you astrally concentrate on this very moment. So don't forget, you also have to sit in front of it. Then physically later, you must fulfill the future. How do you travel to real reality? There are so many. Yes, of course that's such a small problem. Because there are several futures and that can mean that you may have to start a few attempts.
But as I said, plan carefully how you will look at the lottery numbers, what clothes you will wear, plan exactly where you will sit, how you will sit, what kind of drink will be on the table in front of you, etc. Well, so that you can astrally concentrate on this reality beforehand. This increases the probability of not wandering around in one of 500 probable futures and only getting lottery numbers that probably exist there. So here too, as with everything else, precision and focus. Yes. Technique number seven. This is a very simple method. You simply take the numbers that you come across in everyday life. If, for example, you are now walking through the streets and you keep encountering the no idea what is there, the 39 and then just keep collecting the 11 until you have a total of 7 or so, a 6 and an addition. Yes, you simply rely on the correct numbers to come your way in physical reality. So if you're walking around and you notice a 5 somewhere, then of course you could say the 5 could be in the next draw. I'll make a note of that. Above all, you also put your focus on it. That's always interesting. For example, yes, I don't know. If you plan to go on vacation to Spain, you will already have your focus on Spain in everyday life and you will suddenly notice a lot of Spanish. A Spanish restaurant or someone speaking Spanish on the street. That is, you have already placed your focus in this reality. That is, if you put your focus on lottery numbers, you will already be moving towards that reality. Therefore, if you focus on lottery numbers and encounter numbers, just write them down and transfer them to the lottery ticket. Yes, that's what it looks like. I think it's actually a very simple technique. Anyone can do it, even anyone who may not have such a connection to their inner or clairvoyant abilities. Any small child can do the technique, so we thought we'd add this method to the list of 10 ways. Yes. Exact technique number 8. Yes. Technique number 8. You create your own numbers. Exactly. You create your reality. Namely, you acknowledge yourself as the creator of your reality. And so you go to bed and imagine the drawing of the lottery numbers next Saturday. Maybe, don't know exactly when the draw is always 8.22 p.m. Or something like that. You can then imagine exactly how the wheel turns with all the balls inside and which number is then drawn and runs along this track and thumps, falls into the glass below. Yes, you can then imagine exactly the numbers you want. And don't necessarily take the numbers that you associate with, such as your birthday, the date of birth or the age of your son, partner or something like that, but take any numbers. Take six numbers and the extra number and create them in your mind over and over again. Because you then determine that these numbers are drawn and you create the reality or then pull this reality with exactly these numbers into your physical focus. And yes, anyone can actually do that. You don't necessarily have to be clairvoyant or have any mediumistic skills. This is also an easy to use method. Of course it is important that you put a lot of feeling involved in the creation of the numbers as well as a lot of confidence and security in order to program and draw this reality to you. Exactly. It is also important to visualize and feel how you have already won, how you feel, the joy and this winning feeling. Yes, I got my numbers drawn in the lottery. Yes, feeling is there, which is the key. Or just take a 10 euro bill and hand it to the next tramp and say I'll win the next lottery as a symbolic action for being convinced that you're creating these numbers. Technique number 9. 
Technique number nine. We have something of our own to create realities. A special breathing technique and the harder you do it, the quicker and more likely you are to attract that reality. Yes, that is our technique, the spiritual eye. I'll explain very briefly how this works. So of course you can do the breathing exercise at brainkicker.de. Bye. And the application is actually very, very simple. You imagine that you win the lottery. So you set the intention. You want to win the lottery and visualize the word lottery. The higher self then knows anyway what is meant, is clear. And you have that word lotto focused on that word in your mind's eye and doing the breathing technique with as much intensity as you can. The more, the faster, easier, better and more certain that you will win. Yes, the technology is called the spiritual eye on gayernkicker.de. And that's a very specific technique that we're going to explain. Then you can learn this technique. It's a type of breathing exercise meditation. So you have to do a little bit of breathing work. It's a bit exhausting, because it's fine. How long is it? Half an hour or so? You have to keep imagining what you want to achieve and meanwhile carry out this special breathing technique and through this breathing, through the buildup of psychic energy you then draw this reality into your physical focus sieht man dann eben diese Realität auch in seinen physischen Fokus hinein. This is a very powerful method of creating a reality. And of course you can only do 10 minutes every day. Instead of just three days, it makes for a week, an hour or so. It is entirely up to you how quickly you want to win the lottery. Yes, and that's how it is. In any case, powerful and effective. And, of course, it has far more advantages than winning the lottery. But that's what we're going to explain to you. You don't have to be fixated on the lottery now. Only this video is now dedicated to the questioners who just asked what it's like with lottery numbers or with wealth that one can attract. And of course the technology, the spiritual eye can also be used for many other things, for love, for work. Self-knowledge, self-knowledge, all, yes everything that you wish for or that you aspire to or that you want to achieve. Very important. No matter what technology or what we have told you, um, yes, inner lack naturally leads or naturally need does not lead to you attracting this. Of course we should probably mention that when you say, oh God, I'm so poor, I need the money. Are you actually pushing away from yourself any reality that attracts profit? So resistance and lack are not conducive to winning the lottery, but you have to be mentally and in the sense of reality where you feel I have won. Yes, yes, exactly. And of course if you're sitting there and you're throwing your hands over your head, saying oh, another bill then you're radiating with that feeling and whatever feeling or emotion you're having at that moment anchors you you more in this reality where you get more bills than money. And you don't want that. So if a bill comes in, even if it's bitter, stay calm, all manage. It's going. Feelings are frequencies, so attract the right frequencies and then money, money, money. <laughs> Correct. And in this way you have to consider what behavior, what feelings, what thoughts correspond to the reality in which you have just received your desired amount or money. That is the important point that you always have to take into account. You then have to somehow try to eliminate beliefs that contradict where you actually want to be. For example, if you think what would be a good money belief that is not conducive. You have to work hard for your money, for example or life is hard, isn't it? Yes, something like that. But the belief I need money isn't particularly good either. Because I need money only says yourself in reality. 
who doesn't have any money. That's exactly what he won't say. I need money, so you have to think goal-oriented thinking and of course formulate present. And always act like you already have it. Exactly and now. If you're already thinking, if you're already thinking yes, then go to brainkicker.de for a spiritual eye and then spend 20 euros? No. So I don't have the money. So I already lost it. So that's just L as an example. So, and now that was good. Well, now the technology par excellence. Simsalabim. Beam. Number 10. Yes, the dissociation. As many of you probably already know, I recently published a book called Spiritual Dissociation, The Master Technique for Astral Projection, Self-Knowledge and Enlightenment. And the book contains the exact description and explanation of how you can use dissociation for yourself. Because dissociation, contrary to many schools of thought, is actually a superhero ability that each of us has, that is, that the Creator or God or whoever put us in the cradle from birth. The problem is, of course, dissociation has fallen into disrepute. This is also because there are certain institutions that want to disguise dissociation as a superhero ability and portray it as something bad. This is of course also a bit because of how we know it from superheroes. When they discover their own power, their superhero abilities, their hair stands on end for the first time and they are afraid and believe they are sick. Well, with Spider-Man, when he suddenly realized that somehow he could move faster than others, he was startled. Or that he could suddenly jump from one house roof to another. Was he scared too because he thought something was wrong with him? Gradually, however, he was able to discover that it wasn't a curse, it wasn't an illness, but a superhero ability. And it is no different with spiritual dissociation. And in my book I also explained how to achieve all these abilities like astral travel, lucid dreaming, self-knowledge and many other things in spiritual terms. But you can also use dissociation to fulfill your materialistic desires. And with it you can achieve everything you want in love, work, wealth and fame. Very powerful. Yes, very powerful. And that works, among other things, by lying in bed and calming your thoughts so much that you stop thinking. Not a thought, not a picture in my head as an idea. So without imagination, without thoughts, you have to reach that state and then you enter the dissociation phase. If you have a materialistic goal, it is important that you tell yourself three times beforehand what you want to achieve. For example, now on Saturday six correct numbers in the lottery with an additional number. You say this sentence three times and then you start to dissociate. Dissociation is of course not so easy to achieve at first. That means it's possible that after 10 seconds you're already thinking some other nonsense because a thought leaked out again somewhere. If you notice that, then back to zero. Tell each other what you want three times. Say one, two, three times in front of you and then start dissociating again from the beginning. And you do that on and on and on, as long as you have motivation and desire. And that quietly every day or every evening. You can also do it anywhere. You can do it in the park while shopping or walking, wherever. Say what you want three times, then immediately dissociate and as soon as a thought comes up again, that is of course a disturbing thought in quotation marks. That means, back to zero. Say it three times and dissociate again. Yes. 
So, to explain briefly, the point of this, of course, is that you're accumulating energy for that particular reality that you're focusing your thrice phrase on, that you're amplifying that energy that you're accumulating into that desire, so to speak. And then that it is manifested here in the 3D everyday reality, physically, yes. I think that's a very interesting technique, with which I've personally been able to regulate a few things in my life, including financially, I have to say. Because for me there was also a time when I had nothing for years, nothing at all. Yes, me too and I had to make do with, I don't know, 800 euros a month. That was still a lot. <laughs> yeah, we've all had times like that, yes. And there are methods that you can use to make things easier for yourself in the financial area. You mean 800 marks, right? Yes, those were marks. Not euros, mark. Mark only. Mark? Correctly? Yes, um yes, that's actually it, wasn't it? I think we have another bonus technique. What do you think, real? Okay, we have one more for you as a bonus, so to speak, yes. Then we come to the additional bonus. So if none of the techniques work for you, enjoy a joint. Complete. Correct. Focus on the topic and get going. Of course, make sure that you are in a city or country where this is allowed. Like California, for example. Example, yes, or Amsterdam, Holland, or something. Um, yes, and there just smoke a joint. Just focus on what he wants to achieve. And yes, the joint can help you get into a slightly higher state of consciousness. For example, you might encounter one or the other. For example, the way you can win the lottery. But it can also happen that you are shown the blockages that are your problem, why you cannot manifest something like that at all or why you live in poverty. You can also achieve all this with dissociation, but if you want it fast. Yes, that would work too. So for those of you who just like to have one, you can do it and we would be very happy if we get 10% exactly 10% to us for agency fee. So everyone wins, no, no, all good. We would be very happy if you try these techniques and see which technique works best for you. And of course we would be happy if you would tell us which technique you like best, which you might want to practice or already practice. And, of course, it would be really exciting if someone were there and said I actually managed to get four right ones or five right ones with the technique. That would be wonderful. We would be very happy about that. Correct. So don't be afraid to write comments. We're really excited. Oh. Yeah. That was our lotto video I would, yes, that was our lottery video. Thanks again to everyone who asked and inspired us to make this video. And soon it will continue again with hard spiritual topics. This is what it looks like. Out of, yes, yes, our next topic will be something. We won't tell. Also related to secrets so won't tell. Exactly the word secret is included. That's why it won't be revealed. Yes. Okay, my dear people. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again next time. We're trying to do a live stream again next week. We're in Mexico right now. Yes, and the internet in Mexico is not so exciting now. Die Bombe and we're trying to do a live stream on Sunday, as usual at 8 p.m., on our channel and we would be happy if you were there. So all the best. Take care Bavaria. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.